Hi, I'm Carol O'Mara, horticulture entomologist with Colorado State University Extension here in Boulder County. It's strawberry time on the front range and everybody is looking to get these little summer gems into the ground. When you're shopping for your strawberry plants, a lot of times at this time of the year, what you're gonna see is that they're already up and growing and they're coming in these nice peat pots. What you're gonna look for are strong stems going all the way to the ground. And what we really don't wanna have is to have them in flower and in fruit. You wanna pick these off before you get them in the ground. And we're gonna show you how to do all that today. When you go to put your strawberries in the ground, although these peat pots are biodegradable, you do wanna take them off. In Colorado, where we have drier soils and not a lot of acid to the soils either, they have a tendency to petrify instead of breaking down. So we're gonna break all these out. And when you're looking at a strawberry, what you wanna check for is to plant it right at the crown. Just tear these apart if you want, or you can set them down in the whole system that you have. But you can see here, our community gardener, Ken, has his strawberry bed already planted. We're gonna plant these no deeper than they were in the pot. We're gonna set them right into the soil here so that they're nice and snug right into the bed. How you plant your strawberries is up to you, but there are a couple of different systems that you can use out there. What we're looking at here is called the hill system. And what that means is the strawberries are situated basically in a row and they're situated a foot apart. As they grow up, as you can see here, they're filling in, but the daughters have been removed. You don't wanna let the runners run out like this one has. You wanna nip those off because these strawberries are only gonna stay in here for three years. But in the hill system, you can go ahead and have one solid row of strawberries instead of a giant mat. What Walt has going on here is probably better suited to a home system. He's got a matted row system of strawberries. In other words, he's taken this long, wide expanse and he's planted his strawberries in, in offsetting um, areas. He's letting the daughters go and as you can see here, there's plenty of runners with all kinds of strawberry plants meshed in through here. It's a dense system and he hasn't really cleaned it out yet for spring, but that's okay. You wanna be really careful in cleaning up your strawberries because the flowers that they're setting for fruit, they actually set last fall. So you don't wanna get in here and shred it all up or you might be tearing out a lot of the fruit that you're really hoping to get. But this is a good system for the home um, gardener because you don't have to fuss with it. You don't have to be pinching off the daughters. You can just let those daughters run wild, run free. If you really want to pamper your strawberries and pamper your body, the best system you can possibly put in is this raised bed system. You can see it's a good three feet off the ground and it's covered in mesh uh, doors that'll keep the, uh, the birds at bay. These have been uh, mulched in with straw and they're a little older than the ones we just looked at. Let's take a look at how well these plants are doing. There's already an irrigation system set up in here. He's got uh, soaker hoses and he's got his strawberry plants mulched in. They're already a season old. And take a look at how much larger and happier they are than the ones that were just planted straight in the ground. You can do either. Both systems are gonna work for you. But the ease of being able to harvest these, and he's got a nice walkway in here that we could get into to walk through and harvest. And this easy opening mesh lid is one way to keep birds at bay. Birds are a big problem for strawberries. They love them as much as we do. And we wanna try to keep them from getting in as much as possible. These doors make having strawberries a snap. But if you're planting your strawberries in the ground and you still want to protect them from birds, take a look at what community gardener Ken has put together. This is PVC piping and they're pretty small. They're just an inch wide and he's got some uh, T joints on it and a few legs to make a pretty sturdy box. What this is going to do is hold his netting up. But one of the challenges of netting is trying to get in there as the gardener and work the strawberries. What Ken's come up with is a really wickedly great system of having this PVC line that he uses and it's got this mesh netting on it. What he does is lifts it up, sets it on. He's got all this length of mesh that he's 
going to be able to pull over. And then he simply unrolls it so that it covers his strawberries and then he just moves it right back. It's a quick, easy way of getting this uh, netting on and off and the birds don't get to your fruit. This is one way of ensuring you're going to have strawberries all summer long. I'm Carol Lomera, helping you to garden.